hi guys welcome back to my channel this is cooking after how are you guys doing well in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to make guys custard icicle this reminds me when we used to go to school on a break time or lunch time we used to always go and buy custard icicle from the people who sell it in the cooler outside the big school gates but today you guys are lucky because I'm going to show you guys step by step how to make it. So I hope you guys enjoy watching my video. Give my video a thumbs up and please, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you guys will be notified whenever I upload a video. Alright? So I hope you guys enjoy watching this old school recipe, guys, custard icicle. So let me just show you my ingredients. Enjoy. Hey guys, so this is my ingredients for my Guyanese custard icicle. So we have four tin of evaporated milk. We have the custard here, custard powder. We have some sugar, cinnamon stick, nutmeg, essence. I have two types of essence. I have the almond essence and the vanilla essence. I have my clove here all right so the first thing we're gonna do is pour all four tin of milk into our pot so we'll be back okay so my four tin of milk is in my pot here so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna pour some water about half cup of water into this cup here and I'm going to mix my custard powder in it All right so you're gonna mix your custard powder until it gets smooth until you see no lumps, all right? So when you're done mix your custard powder, you're gonna, let me put the camera closer here. Good, so when you're done mix your custard powder, you're gonna pour it into the pot with milk, all right? And then you're gonna stir it. And then you're going to put in your cinnamon stick, your cloves, and your grated nutmeg. I have a video like this already on my YouTube channel, but I want to put one on my, this video is going to be on my Facebook, so that's why I'm doing it over. And you have to keep like stirring it like every minute or so because what can happen it can burn right and you don't want it to burn so just keep stirring it or so if you stop for like a minute and then you're just gonna continue back stirring it all right so we'll be back okay so it has been boiling for about five minutes so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna put in my brown sugar and I'm gonna put in my almond essence and vanilla essence. I'm gonna give it a good stir till the sugar is melted. Okay guys, so my custard has been boiling for about 30 minutes. So it's all done now. See how it's looking? Let me put the camera more closer. So this is my custard here. All right, nice and creamy. It tastes so delicious. So what are you gonna do now? Let me fix back my camera. 
I'm going to turn off my stove and then I'm going to strain it out into this pot here. So my stove is off. And I'm going to strain this out in this pot here. So I'm going to get no lumps or anything. So you're going to leave it to cool for about half an hour. So we'll be back, all right? We'll be back. Okay, guys. So it has been resting for about an hour. So I just pour out some into this mug here. And this is my isopor bag. And you have to use a, a small funnel. So you're going to put the funnel in like this and I'm gonna pour it into your bag like this you have to leave space so you can get to knot it as well so this is how put it here you're gonna hold it at the end like this and then you're gonna spin it around and then you're gonna make a knot. Just like this. And this is how it's gonna look. So this is one finisher. Let me just show you another one. So this is the bag here. This is my funnel and this is the mug with the custard and you're going to pour it inside. Then you can take out the funnel and then you're going to, I think this one has a little too much inside, let me just pour out a little bit. You can't fill it right up, you gotta leave at least about two inches so you could be able to knot it. So it's here, so you're gonna spin it around like this, and then you're gonna make a knot. Right, the last time when I did this video, I didn't show you guys how I put it into the the bag, so I'm now I'm showing you guys, you see. And the nut is right up top here. All right. So I'll do the rest off camera. I finished two so far. I'll do the rest off camera, and I'll be back. Okay, guys. So I finally finished. Whew, that was a lot of work. So I have 22 custard icicle here. So this is how it's looking here. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put it into the freezer. Now is night time. So when I wake up in the morning, I'll show you guys the end results and I'll taste it on cameras. But my 14 of milk gave me 22 custard icicle. All right, so see you in the morning. Okay guys, so this is the next day and this is the end results for my Guyanese custard block. All right, so I'm gonna taste one in camera and let you guys see. Okay guys, so these are my end results from my Guyanese custard block. So I'm gonna taste one in camera and let you guys see. So we have one here. I'm gonna taste it. Wow. Mm. This tastes really good. It tastes just like what how it used to taste like when I used to go to school many years ago. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy watching my video. Give my video a thumbs up and please, please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Cooking with Afton, and follow me on Facebook, Cooking with Afton. Thank you guys so much for watching this video.
Bye.